said, if you're going to learn to live heaven culture, you cannot leave the fun out. He said, fun is a weapon, just like prayer, just like, you know, when we were fasting a lot. And I would encourage you, there's a new fast for this time called the royal fast. There's a big difference in the other fast that we've been having. The royal fast is this. You don't stop eating, okay? You don't stop eating, but you don't eat any of your favorite things. You don't drink any of your favorite things. You don't wear any of your favorite clothes. You don't watch your favorite shows. You don't go see your favorite movies. You give it up for whatever time frame he gives you. I've been fasting mine for five months now. I haven't had pizza or ice cream. That is my food group. Okay? He knows what my favorite things are, and you know what your favorite things are, okay? And we tweak each other all day long. And so the, for the month of January, we are giving up desserts, which is really hard. If you think it's not, you try doing it sometime. But the thing is this, you go to reach for your same old little comfortable clothes you've been wearing. And he says, you can't do that. Because the royal fast has everything to do with it is the opposite of the king's feast. Most of the year, you will be living the king's feast. Because he wants you to. That means you eat your favorite things, you wear your favorite stuff, you go to your favorite places as long as they're not darkness. Uh, and that's the lifestyle he wants us to display and demonstrate to this world that we are prospering, that we are joyous, that we are celebrating, that we are mighty in God. He wants the world to openly see us prospering and being happy because they don't want some sour, sad something, okay? Amen. Smile sometimes. Even when you don't feel like it, because it is like a medicine. You'd be surprised what it heals on the inside of you. So the royal fast is something new. It's totally different than any kind of fast we've ever had before. He gave it to me, and I've been sharing it everywhere. I'll be putting it up on my website, and it's harder to do than you think it is. But it's not like you give up everything. You know, the Daniel fast was for Daniel's day. I'm telling you what the Father said. If he strictly and says to you personally, you're doing the Daniel fast. But if he says you're fasting, you need to do the royal fast. It's for a new time, a new age. You're alive now. You're not Daniel. You'll do things greater than him someday. Say we do the greater works. So things are going to be different in our life. And yet, even though that's wonderful, you still have to be willing to accept the strange.